Today I'm proud to announce the establishment of the Mental Health Division within the DA's office. Good morning. District Attorney Jackie Lacey's press conference to announce a new mental health division ushers in a profound shift within her office. Twelve lawyers are now tasked with helping defendants living with mental health issues put their past behind them and get the help they need. Our goal, of course, is to protect the public and also to assist people in getting the mental health and other services they need to be healthy members of our communities. We also want to make sure that jails and prisons are reserved for the most serious and violent felons. Lacey created the Mental Health Division as a response to Senate Bill 1810, a pre-trial mental health diversion law signed by the governor last July. It provides flexibility for the DA's office to divert defendants living with mental health issues into community-based treatment facilities instead of criminal prosecution. There will be a community placement that's suitable and good for them and available to take them in and it'll be up to the prosecutor to join in with the defense attorney to tell the judge, you know what, this, this is a person who, who really we should be diverting out of the general, criminal justice system. The new division is the latest step in the county's justice reform efforts and the first of its kind in a prosecutor's office in California and perhaps the nation. It builds on existing programs to divert defendants who qualify away from incarceration and into treatment. One of those is Marin Cucuruza. Marin moved to LA from Idaho to escape substance abuse issues and a mental health diagnosis. Instead, she wound up homeless. A court case opened the door to a fresh start. I got arrested on an assault charge and um, initially I was just arrested and then released after like 14 days on probation. But I was homeless and so I was having a really hard time succeeding on probation and I ended up um, violating. And so when I went back into jail the second time, they um, came to me at my court date and told me that they wanted to put me in this program. And so I agreed and I've been here ever since. Today, she's at her new home, provided in part with Measure H funding. She credits support from the Amity Foundation in helping her get back on her feet. As an advocate, it's like putting a puzzle together. I assist with making sure that the doctor's appointments are met, the mental health appointments are met, medications are in compliance. I'm just basically showing uh, my student there is a path to success. Do you like a cookie? We take individuals, we divert them from doing time in jail. We take those individuals into a project to get them placed into the community, to wrap the necessary services around them and stabilize them. They also report back to the court and under guidelines mandated by the new mental health division, cases are resolved after two years of compliance. For Marin, who has a young son living with her mother in Idaho, it represents the start of a new life. It's something that I literally could never have achieved on my own without help for many reasons. Um, but it just feels like I've been given a, another chance to do my life right, um, which is something that not a lot of people get. A chance to restore health and start over. In Gardena, I'm Joe McDonald.